Life finds a way. Unless it's a fossilized egg under a road, then we just find it and study it. What's up, eggheads? Trace here, rocking the fossil puns for D News. In the last 20 years, almost 17,000 dinosaur eggs have been uncovered in Guangdong province in China, earning it the name Home of Dinosaurs. Recently, they found 43 more eggs, 19 of which are completely intact. But don't go all Jurassic Universe on me here, they are just fossils. Solid pieces of rock, likely ranging from 65 to 89 million years old, well past cloning age. So no dino parks will result from this discovery, but they do have a lot to teach us still. Dinosaur egg fragments have been identified in France as early as 1859, and the first completely intact, scientifically recognized dinosaur egg was discovered in the 1920s in Mongolia. The significance there is that it still contained an embryo. Since then, eggs have been discovered in 200 different sites on every continent except Antarctica. <laughs> They're often just shell fragments, mainly because eggs are kind of tough to fossilize. Taphonomy is the study of fossilization, what happens to an organism from its burial until its discovery as a fossil. A fossil is sort of like a shadow or a model of a living organism made from rock. The most common fossil type for dinosaurs and their eggs is called permineralization, widely known as petrification. As an organism is buried underground, water seeps into spaces in the remains, pulling minerals with it. As the minerals set, they form crystals, eventually replacing and encasing the original hard tissues, bones, or teeth. Even though there were millions of dinosaurs on the planet, we only find a few fossils, because conditions have to be just right. The best conditions are when dinosaurs are buried in sediment shortly after death, because otherwise bacteria and other animals in nature go to work on the corpse. Over time, the sediment, like sand or clay, hardens and becomes shale or sandstone or mudstone, allowing us to get those fossils out later. Some dinosaurs did the hard work for us, because sometimes, after a dinosaur lays eggs, maybe as many as 15 or 20 at a time, they would bury them for protection. If they bury it too deep, then the embryo can't breathe or it gets crushed, and millions of years later, it becomes a fossil. Eggs are far rarer than dinosaur bones, simply because they're just so fragile. If the egg is cracked, crushed, or it hatches, the result is usually the same, shell fragments. But once in a long while, an egg fossilized having never cracked and we can explore the embryo inside of it millions of years after it was laying. In the end though, dinosaur eggs are a fascinating curio, but unless they're found near bones, we don't know which dinosaurs laid which eggs. Scientists can use x-rays to CAT scan them and see inside, or slowly scrape away fossilized exteriors to see the embryo, but even then, it can be impossible to guess which dinosaur species laid the eggs. Instead, paleontologists use these dinosaur eggs to learn about how baby dinosaurs developed, both inside of the shell and after. In Montana, for example, paleontologists discovered nests, nurseries, eggs, embryos, hatchlings, nestlings, and even juveniles, giving us an understanding into dinosaurs' young lives. It would appear some dinosaur babies could walk right after hatching and they would leave the nest. They could tell because their eggshells were left intact. While other dinosaurs needed parental care and they lived in their nest for a while. You could tell because their eggshells were crushed from the pitter patter of their little dinosaur feet. What is your favorite dinosaur or maybe movie about dinosaurs? Tell us down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe for more D News and thank you for watching. <laughs>